one of the Merry Little Breezes, peeping through the rushes, spied Peter Rabbit sitting up very straight on the edge of the green meadows. His long ears were pointed straight up, his big eyes were wide open, and he seemed to be looking and listening with a great deal of curiosity. I wonder why it is that Peter Rabbit has such long ears, said the Merry Little Breeze. chug a -rum, replied a great deep voice right behind him. All the Merry Little Breezes jumped up and ran through the rushes to the very edge of the Smiling Pool. There on a great green lily pad sat Great Grandfather Frog. chug a -rum, said the Great Great Grandfather Frog. Oh, Grandfather Frog, cried the Merry Little Breezes all together. Do tell us why it is that Peter Rabbit has such long ears. If I had four fat, foolish green flies, it is just possible that I might remember how it happens that Peter Rabbit has such long ears. Then up jumped all the Merry Little Breezes, and away they raced. When, great, when Grandfather Frog had swallowed all the fat, foolish green flies brought by the Merry Little Breezes, he settled himself comfortably on his big lily pad once more and began. Once upon a time, when the world was young, Mr. Rabbit, not our Peter Rabbit, but his grandfather, a thousand times removed, had short ears like all the other meadow people. And also his four legs were all of the same length, just exactly the same length. Now Mr. Rabbit had a great deal of curiosity, a very great deal indeed. He was forever pushing his prying little nose into other people's affairs, which you know is a most unpleasant habit. In fact, Mr. Rabbit had the common nuisance. Mother Nature comes to Green Meadows and finds the town in a dreadful state. After asking around town, Mother Nature soon finds out that it is all because of Peter Rabbit's lies. Mother Nature meets Peter Rabbit. <laughs> you are shiftless for your house sleeps. You are a sneak for you creep up when you're not wanted and listen to things which do not concern you. You are a thief for you steal the secrets of others. For you tell things which are not so. Mr. Rabbit, you are all of those. A lazy, shiftless sneak and a thief. Rabbit is ashamed and cries. But old Mother Nature loves and feels bad for him. Mr. Rabbit, because your curiosity is so great, your ears shall be made long, that everyone who sees you may know that it is not safe to talk when you are near. Because you are a sneak and steal up to people unseen, your hind legs shall be made long, so that whenever you sit up straight, you will be tall and everyone can see you, and whenever you run, you will go with great jumps and everyone will know who it is running away. Now he can't hide and listen to others. That is why rabbits now have long ears and legs and are always listening. And that's why Peter Rabbit's ears are so long. Please look on the bright side of death. Just before you draw your terminal breath. Life's a piece of shit.